Hello, this is Andrew, and this is a SRAM 1136 cassette. I've been thinking about playing around with this for two reasons. One, um, I've tried an 1134 from Shimano in the past, and while it does provide the one-to-one um, -one ratio, because I have a compact um, chain set up front. Um, I'm not really happy with the shifting performance of the 1134 and I think that it might come down to let me get my thumb unstuck here this thing. The 1134 is a cassette that can run on a 10 or 11 speed uh, free hub so you can, without this, you would run it on a 10 speed free hub. With it, you run it with an 11 speed free hub. And I think that, um, or I don't know, but that's the only thing I can think of, of why the shifting performance on the 1134 is not as good as the shifting performance on an 1132. And so, um, I'm always looking for another other ways to get mechanical advantage. And I guess it's it's worth digressing briefly. Um, some people think of, you know, generous cassettes as a um, uh, cheat or an unmanly thing to do. Personally, I view them as an object that provides mechanical advantage, much like um, arrow handlebars or an arrow bike provides uh, mechanical advantage. So um, just like I would put... Uh, arrow handlebars on my bike, I would um, play around with getting better mechanical gearing. Um, so 1134, or sorry, 1136, because I'm not keen on the 1134 shifting, uh, but also it would be great if I could get the one-to-one -one ratio um, with a 5236, because I live in Illinois and Illinois is a very flat place. I run a compact chain set here because I like to climb. Um, but if I could run a mid-compact 5236 and still get that one-to-one -one ratio, that would be awesome. So the goal here is to test out the 1136 with my uh, medium cage Altegra um, rear derailleur and see if it works. And I, I expect that it will, but um, who knows, right? So before putting it on the bike, we have to figure out how much it weighs. So let's go ahead and get that on here, and I expect it's going to be hefty. I have 366.4. And then for reference, let's get the, oops. Get the 1134. So that's 339.1. And then, just for giggles, the 1132, which is 280.5. So obviously, there is a, a pretty massive weight penalty from going from 1132 to 1134 to 1136, assuming 1136 works. Um, I haven't ridden this yet, but I have ridden both of these. And the 1132 shifting performance is very, very good. Um, and it works well in most situations. But you know, when you get in the grade goes really steep, it's very nice to have the extra gear than that one-to-one -one ratio. So put this on the bike test it out, and uh, we'll report back. So the test, of course, on whether or not this cassette will work with the uh, medium cage Altegra derailleur here is, can this, the cage, can it accommodate the amount of chain that you need in order to make it work? And so using the uh, method that Park Tool recommends, with how you size a chain. So this chain is my 1134 chain. 
and we can see here if I line up the quick link with this rivet there there's two rivets below it so I would actually cut the chain the same size for the 1134 as I would for the 1136 so given that it's highly unlikely that this wouldn't work uh, because it's the same chain as long as the B screw which does since this bike can use SRAM and Shimano uh, derailers. There's uh, almost no reason at all why this wouldn't work. So I'm going to get the chain on there, mess with it on the work stand just to make sure that it shifts properly, and then uh, go give it a ride. So it looks like the indexing is slightly off, so I'll have to play with that um, to get it perfect. Um, it's not entirely unexpected when you shift between cassettes, but it does mean that there's a slight sizing difference between this um, SRAM cassette and the um, Shimano cassettes that I've been using on here. So obviously if you use Shimano Di2, there isn't going to be a cassette profile in the Garmin for the 1136 because Shimano doesn't sell an 1136 cassette. Fortunately, there is an easy way to sort out the gearing on here. You just go into the sensor deta details and you change the gears. And so that's all there is to it. Figure this is as good as time as any to uh, celebrate the uh, beauty of an 1136 cassette. Here I am, happily spinning away on the 32 at 9%. And I know that I got another gear left, which when it gets really steep, it's really gonna come in handy. Sorry for the wind noise up here. This is the top of the uh, Sunshine Canyon climb. And uh, this is testing out the 1136. This is why I got it, because I knew it was gonna come up here and do this. And uh, it's a pretty brutal climb with about 15 or 16% grades at some points. And it was really nice to have that extra less than one to one, whatever that is, gearing um, for that those places, because uh, I'm really feeling the third day of riding out here in Boulder. So I would recommend it for anybody who likes to climb and doesn't necessarily have the legs to uh, back it up. All right, final thoughts time with using a SRAM 1136 cassette with a Shimano Altegra R8000, or in this case. R8050 Di2 medium cage rear derailleur. Uh, bottom line is is that it works. It actually uses the same chain as I was using with the 1134. I didn't have to add any links. So there's almost no risk that the chain is going to be too long for the derailleur to handle. Um, obviously, this is not a supported configuration, so you know do it at your own risk. Uh, but I, I didn't have any problems with it. I don't expect that you will either. It, it just works. And it, honestly, it works better than the 1134. Uh, no wonky shifting. Um, I, I'm not really sure why I had that problem with the 1134. I suspect it's because it uses a spacer. Um, but it could just be that I'm more anal than the average person. I don't know. Uh, the gearing is fantastic. It really does enable you to get out there as a flatlander to go out to the mountains and do some climbing. And, you know, if you don't have the climbing legs or you don't have the climbing lungs because of the elevation, it's just, it's brilliant for that. And the the one does 0 0.94 gearing is fantastic. I actually like the gearing so much that I'm not confident that I'm going to go with the original plan to change the front chain rings for a 5236 because it was just so nice to be able to spin up those steep grades. And since it works so well, 
I don't know that I'd really want to change that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Cheers.